sometimes in our circle of relations we strive so hard just to make people happy with us you try to please people so much so that they become impressed by you so oh man this guy is really this is the guy and sometimes we actually end up showing off in front of them in order to gain their acceptance in order to maintain their pleasure with us sometimes actually we may disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order to make them happy Muawiyah ibn Abi Sufyan wal athar fi sunan al-Tirmidhi Muawiyah ibn Abi Sufyan radhi Allahu anhu sent a letter to Aisha while he was Amir al-Mu'mineen Ya Ummah, O oh my mother, give me nasiha. And if it can be short, give me nasiha, advise me. Aisha radiallahu anha wrote to him, Amma ba'd, as for what to follow, fa'inni sami'tu Rasulallah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul, I heard the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says Man arza al-nasa bi sakhat Allah asakhat Allah alayhi al-nas If you sought with an S if you seek seek sought if you strive to earn the pleasure of the people at the expense of the displeasure of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make those people angry at you. And I always give that scenario. You're working in a place and there is a lot of Islamophobes around you, especially your boss. He knows, you know, you know that he's really anti-Islam, anti-Muslims. And now you're supposed to pray five times, especially in these winter, winter days, short days. Dhuhr and Asr normally hits while you're working. Now you know if you're going to pray in front of your boss. So now you're going to leave the Salah to make him happy. That's an example. You know what the hadith tells you? This man will fire you for another reason. There will be another reason that this man will fire you for it. Look at the end of this. وَمَنْ أَسْخَطَ النَّاسَ بِرِضَ اللَّهِ And if you do the right thing, if you stand for what is right, if you stand for the truth firmly, but this will make you go head to head with the people the anger of the people will be upon you kafahu allah nas kafa allah will protect you from the people look at the understanding look at the understanding brothers and sisters in islam you need to realize that the limb with which we love and resent which is the heart is in the hands of allah سبحانه وتعالى قال صلى الله عليه وسلم إن قلوب بني آدم بين أصبعين من أصابع الرحمن يقلبها كيف يشاء ابن القيم رحمه الله has a statement out of this world what did he say he is addressing the person who shows up for the people in order to impress them so in my salah, I'm showing off, I'm perfecting my salah to impress you. You know what he said? The heart of the one to whom you're showing off is in the hand of the one you're disobeying. 